John Clements, welcome to the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is September 12th, 2007, a nice breezy cool fall day. And I wanted to show you quickly here um, a small group of Honeycrisp trees that were planted last year. So these are in their second leaf. This is part of a, a bigger kind of observational experiment comparing um, three different training systems, basically the regular central leader, um, the vertical axis, and the uh, the tall spindle, but I, I didn't want to go into the details of that right now. But I, what I did want to show you is these Honeycrisp in the second leaf. These are um, B9 rootstock. Um, trees were from Stark Brothers Nursery. Um, and these are being trained to the, to the tall spindle with, with four wires. And the amazing thing here is in the second leaf, uh, the crop load on these Honeycrisp. And uh, I guess it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like a catch-22 situation. Um, certainly most of these trees have in excess of 10, perhaps 15, as many as 20 fruit on the tree. In the second leaf, they really probably only should have 5 to 10. Um, bottom line, I probably didn't do enough hand thinning. So you could certainly make some money in the second leaf, but I think we've sacrificed growth on these trees. I'd like to see a little more growth on them in this second leaf to get them up to the, the top wire anyways. But still, pretty impressive. The fruit is very nice here. It's quite large and ready for harvest. And it just shows you the potential on a, a very precocious rootstock, such as B9, um, planted at high density to get early high yields and, and make some money on those plantings. The only caveat being you don't want to sacrifice too much growth early in the year. So that's all for today. It's a busy time of the year with harvest going and everything. Just a short video fruit advisor. And uh, we'll try and be back in a week or two with, with something else. Okay, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Hope you're having a good harvest out there.